Hello everyone. Today we will be focusing on the foundation of any language which is the alphabet. English speakers have an advantage here as the German alphabet uses the same 26 letters just as English plus four extra letters. So in total there are 30 alphabets in German. Now although these letters look the same their pronunciation is slightly different. and this is exactly what we'll be learning in today's video so let's dive right into it i will now read the alphabet out loud so please repeat after me in order to practice your pronunciation a a p p c c d d e e here i have written the letter a the english alphabet a because the letter e in german has the same pronunciation as the english alphabet a next f f k K H H I I Here I have written the letter E because the German alphabet I has the same pronunciation as the English alphabet E Next J J K K L L M M N N O O P P Q Q R R S S T T U U V V W W X X Y Y Y Z Z Next week we will learn the four extra letters the first three letters with the two dots on top are called umlaute umlaute the first one is pronounced as a a or a umlaut once again a a this is pronounced as the letter a in age next we have u u u or o umlaut this is pronounced like the word flirt in english flirt u lastly we have the letter u with the two da- with the two dots which is called umlaut and it is pronounced as u 
you. Unfortunately, there is no English equivalent for this letter. There is one more special letter in the German alphabet and it looks like this. It might look like the English alphabet B to you, but please note the standing line is longer and this does not complete here. This is known as S Z. S Z. S Z. Or it is also known as Sharfus S. Sharfus S. Which means sharp S. This letter is pronounced like the double S in the word miss. Please remember, this is the only letter that will never be at the beginning of a word. So, we have just learned that the first three letters with the two dots on top are called umlauter, umlauter, and they are pronounced as follows a a u u and u u oh i missed this here it is also pronounced u umlaut u umlaut unfortunately there is no english equivalent for the letter u here and last we have s z s z or sharp as s sharp as s moving on let's also learn some words with each of these letters to enhance our german pronunciation i will go over each and every word slowly so please repeat after me a Apfel 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 This means apple We Bruder 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 This means brother Say Say Se, sede, sede. This means CD. In German, you will rarely run into words starting with the letter C, which are not followed by the letter H, in which case the pronunciation changes. Um, for example, the English word chance is pronounced as schonze, schonze, schonze. Um, this means that in German, generally, you will not find many words starting with the pronunciation se. Um, another example right now would be circa. Circa. This means approximately. Moving on. De. Datum. Datum. This means date. Next, a a elephant. 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 Next. F fish fish G G good 
gut. This means good. And here elephant means elephant. Fish has the same pronunciation as the English word fish and it means, as I already said, fish. Next, ha, ha, house, house. This again has the same pronunciation as the English word house. E, e, eagle, eagle, which means porcupine. Eagle. Next, yacht, yacht, yar, yar. This means ear, yar. Ka, ka, camera, camera, camera which means camera. L, L, lampa, lampa, which means lamp, lampa. M, M, man, man which means man. N, N, Nacht, Nacht, Nacht. Here you can see that C is followed with the letter H and the pronunciation is changed. The word is pronounced as Nacht, Nacht, which means night. O, O, Opfer, Opfer, which means victim. P, Polizei, Polizei, which means police. Q, Q, Quella, Quella, which means source. Quella, er, er, wrote, wrote, which means read. S, S, Sonne. Sonne which means sun. Now, if you just noticed, when I said the word sonna, there is a little Z sound while speaking this word. This is because most of the time the letter S in German sounds like Z in English when placed at the beginning of a word and it is followed by a vowel. Here, O is the vowel, which is why the pronunciation of this word is sonna. Sonne. Next, T, T, Doctor, 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 which means daughter. U, U, Ufer. Ufa, which means shore. Fau, Fau, Fogel, Fogel, which means birds. We, We, Wasser, Wasser. Wasser, which means water. 
नेक्स्ट एक्स एक्स सियोलोफोन सियोलोफोन प्लीज नोट देर आर हार्डली एनी जर्मन वर्ड्स दैट स्टार्ट विद द लेटर एक्स एंड सिमिलरली विद द लेटर वाई सियोलोफोन हेयर मीन्स साइलोफोन Ypsilon, Ypsilon, Yak, Yak, Set, Set, Zeitung, Zeitung, E, E, Äpfel, Äpfel. As you would have probably noticed, when I had written the first word starting with the letter A, pronounced as A in German, I said Apfel. Apfel. But as we have learnt that these two dots, which are known as umlauts, and with that the letter A here is pronounced as E, the pronunciation of this particular word becomes Apfel. 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 Apfel, 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 Apfel. Next, Ö, 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 Öl, Öl, which means oil. Lastly, Ü. Ü, Ü, Uber, 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 which means over or above. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you continue to practice, continue learning German, and uh, hope to see you next time. Danke.